Welcome back to Traveling Dice. This is Jason. I'm getting ready to convert some vehicles for this game, Gaslands Refueled. And I went through the kids' playroom, and there are a, a, a fair amount of uh, options I found in the playroom. But I didn't quite find the variety I was looking for. The game set up to have a bunch of different vehicles, buses, trucks, jeeps, um, race cars, and you can equip them with different weapons and things of this nature. So I thought it would be interesting to order a random selection of cars. So I got this guy. I don't know what's in here. Uh, what I'm hoping for is, you know, finding a good variety that I can then use to convert the vehicles to play the game. So I thought it might be fun to open this and what I'm hoping for is just a, a great variety of vehicles for this particular game. And then something that, you know, as I encounter them, it's kind of inspiring that conversion idea um, because I want to paint these up. I want to arm them with different weapons, things of that nature, which the game allows. So I thought I might go through these. These are in rough shape, which is okay. Um, actually, it might even be good because uh, this is supposed to be like a, a post-apocalyptic game. So that's an interesting little car here. I like, I like these angular pieces at the top. I think that some of these would paint up well and some potential for conversion there. So not a bad start. Oh, I really like this. Uh, there are motorcycles in the game, so that's super cool. I would need to um, find a crew to go on top of that, uh, a miniature in that regard. But yeah, that's really nice. The It's kind of an extended length to uh, cycle. There's a, a wheel here down at the bottom. like that one a lot. Okay, wow, so far so good. Um, inside the game, there are various options for wrecking ball weapons and things of that nature. So this is something that definitely could be, um, I would glue it in place, I think, and then probably replace this with something. Um, but yeah, there are definitely weapons that, um, this could be converted into nicely. Um, nice truck here. Oh, so far, I'm really pleased with this purchase. Okay, an open top. This one is probably not one that I'm going to use. Um, there are some open top cars in here, um, but again, if I'm gonna use it as an open top, I'd have to put a miniature in here. Uh, if I wasn't gonna close it somehow, then this one would require a lot of conversion. This one's probably a pass for me for what I'm trying to do. Pretty general car here, uh, which isn't horrible. There are, you know, you have some regular uh, kind of style cars in it. So that one's probably usable. The scale on these is nice. Okay, I like this one a lot. Uh, the truck bed here. I kind of wish this was open. I'm wondering if that's maybe something I could break off. Um, might be nice to... Or maybe having a, a flatbed there is actually better. Um, mounting like a big... Uh, gun here on the back might be cool. Yeah, I, I'm so far I'm really pleased with the variety here. Another motorcycle, just awesome. I was worried that I wasn't going to get uh, things like this in there. the The motorcycles are you know really maneuverable in the game, um, and just like a quick search, like some of these are kind of expensive online and and hard to find. Again, I, I would need to model uh, a crew on there, um, but I could go through the bits box. I probably have some stuff. The scale on this one might be a little bit big. I mean, it's the same length as like that car, for example. Now, I think this style of motorcycle that it's trying to show is like an elongated one, so maybe that's okay. But I like that. Wow, another motorcycle. Okay, I was not expecting um, this many of these. Um, in fact, I think I like this one more than either of the first two. 
uh, has some nice pistons here. I think that those would paint up well. Um, kind of a big engine there. Again, I'm going to have to go through the bits box and just see uh, about, you know, crew for these. This one's super cool. Kind of um, a unique style here. I would have to fill this with something like a cage bar or something like that. But I do like that a lot. Okay, it was just kind of pretty typical here on this guy, but fine. These are just in horrifically bad shape, which I love. This one is probably one I'm gonna pass on. Not really a style that inspires me. Um, yeah, this one's probably a no. I think I only need you know, 15 to 20. Okay, a nice van, yes. Very good. I like this a lot. Pretty bulky. A nice surface up here for, um, you know, mounting different weapons and different conversions. An ambulance, you know. Um, the game actually has uh, rules for an ambulance. So that's cool. Oh, okay, this is great. This is definitely great. Uh, I will need to clean these up. They're a little dirty, but um, that's probably not surprising. But like, I think details like this are gonna paint up really, really well. And this one, you know, I don't think I need a ton of conversion. Just to add some weapons, you're good to go. I, I like that one a lot. Nice little buggy here. You just put some, some mesh here to make it look like you have a, a metal cage on some of these windows. The pistons coming out of the hood is a great touch. I love this bumper back here too. The grill up front I think would paint up nicely. This one feels, it feels different. I don't know what brand this is. It feels a little cheaper, which for what I'm doing might be fine. This one is broken piece here, but again, it's post-apocalyptic. So the condition of these actually is not that critical, but this one just doesn't have a lot of detail. It's pretty smooth. So maybe if I had something really specific in mind, that might work. I'm gonna kind of put this in the pass pile for now. There's only three in the pass pile and in, in the, the yes pile so far I have 12. So there's 40 randoms in total here. So, so far the average is great. Kind of just a typical car, which is fine. I think like three or four of these. Um, the game does recommend that you just have kind of some basic cars with just one um, forward facing machine gun for Kind of learning and teaching the game. I'm really glad these aren't individually wrapped. Um, I was worried I'd have to cut each one open uh, during the video here. Again, it's kind of a typical car. Um, the insignias here, they feel smooth, so once you prime this, you're not going to see those, you know, which I have mixed feelings about. Right? If these were actually raised up, that might be kind of cool to paint them. I guess you could freehand it, but yeah, that might be beyond my patience as a painter. But yeah, nice, nice general car. Okay, kind of more of the general car category here. I will be posting some videos where I'm doing some of the conversions on these. Um, that might be a few weeks off, but looking forward to that. Oh, nice cop car. Okay, cool. I was kind of hoping for a police car. Um, Great, very nice. Could do some nice painting up with these lights. Try to paint them up like they're flashing. Super cool. All right, this is another winner here. I, I love the details. I love the pistons coming out. The empty bed here. Um, well, it's not empty, I mean, it's got 
It's got uh, some, some rigging back there, which is great. Some details on the back. And front, the wheel is broken off. Um, but I think that can be repaired. I'm going to end up gluing the wheels in place anyways. So that is just awesome. All right, open cab Corvette. You know, this one doesn't speak to me so much. I like some of the others a lot better for the purposes of this game. Uh, I like the shape of this one. Kind of got a, a lower profile, uh, kind of a flatter. Super cool. You just picture a big gun on top of this guy. Yeah. This one, even though it's it's got a lower profile, it's got some heft to it too, which is nice. This is a nice pickup model. I just feel like, yeah, that's got some heft to it. I do love that about the old metal GW models. I like the shape of this one. Kind of got this ridge going up. The sunroof is kind of a cool touch. Um, you know, potentially you could have a guy like standing up out of this with a gun. Um, might be a, a neat conversion there. I, I like the paneling on the doors. I think that would be a, a fun portion to paint right there. It's so nice. Okay, super cool. Just kind of a, a drag racer here. And there are definitely rules for these guys in there. I, I don't have a ton of miniatures that are probably the right scale to go in here. So I would have to figure something out in that regard, but still just awesome. Another police car, that's great. Wouldn't mind some more vans here, or trucks. Okay, this is cool. Oh, this actually has guns already. And that's actually nice for what I'm doing. So this one has a closing mechanism here. It doesn't stay closed. Oh, this is a Cars. Maybe a um, Pixar's Cars. I'm not super familiar with the movie. I could paint that. You wouldn't see the eyes. Um, let me see the scale. I think the scale is probably okay. Maybe a nip on the big side. I do like that the guns are there. Uh, even if I don't use this car, I might pull these guns out and use them on another car. So that's great, even if I just use it for the guns. I kind of put it in the in-between pile. I think the scale is a little too big. Just kind of a general car. This has a lot of texture to, to it on the, on the hood here, which is cool. This one, it feels light. It also looks a little small to me. No, maybe not. Um, this one I'll put in kind of the in-between pile. Okay, the bug. I, I, I do love the slug bug style cars. So that's kind of neat. Just like this with a you know, crazy amount of guns on it seems ridiculously funny so cool nice low profile on this i kind of like that the the windshield is, is so far back like most of the car is, is hood and engine and the driver is actually really far back in this um, the the door here the side panel has kind of a, a big kind of a swoosh in uh, kind of a look and feel to it, which is neat. I like the texture here, back here. Yeah, it's cool. This car feels super solid. It's got some nice heft. Other than that, it's kind of a general looking car, but not bad. This one is interesting. I 
do I, I like that the hood has so much variation in it the uh, wheel hubs here are much higher than the hood which is cool it's got a little bit here this might actually be great for mounting a gun on and I like the textures in the back here I think these could paint up really well That's a nice piece. Cool. Okay, nice. Some kind of a Jeep style, Jeep truck style. I wouldn't mind a few more of these. I feel like I'm a little light on vans and trucks looking at what's come in so far. Um, so yeah, great. Just another general car. Solid. Oh, okay, well this is actually cool because I'm going to be able to use this for a weapon. The vehicle, I have no idea what this is. This is rather silly. So um, the vehicle itself, I'm not going to be able to use, but these roller things, I'm going to be able to use as weapons. And I'm going to convert them and make them part of another vehicle. So uh, this is actually one of my favorite pieces so far. Um, Ironically, and the, the vehicle itself is horrible. It's like a, I don't know, a dinosaur thing. Um, like a Flintstones car, kind of, maybe? I, I have no idea. But yeah, these, these rollers to me are just golden because it's going to allow me to convert some of the other vehicles. So, awesome. Okay, nice truck. Good. We needed a few more trucks. I... All the ones that I've pulled so far that are trucks have a, f a bed that's not accessible, which is too bad. I, I wouldn't mind a truck with a bed where you could put stuff or guys in there. But yeah, pickup truck, neat. Okay, this is kind of an American muscle kind of a car. I, I like this. It's got a little bit of a rake. The uh, back of this car is a little taller than the front. Uh, which is great. Uh, yeah, just a lot of character on this guy. This is one I think I'm definitely going to use. I like this guy a lot. All right, got what will end up. It's it's a police car. This could probably, when you paint it up, could be a tow truck. Um, it kind of has more of that open bed, which is nice. It's a little on the small side. You know... I don't know. Okay, it's about the same size as that car. This truck is a little significantly longer. Um, but yeah, good. Nice general race car here. Like it. And something really big in here. The scale is going to be totally off on this guy. What I might do is um, try to use these wheels um, if I wanted to put a bigger wheel on a smaller vehicle, um, kind of raise it up. So I might cannibalize these wheels for some conversions. Um, I might, you know, try to actually take this apart and see, you know, what of it I can use for armor plating upgrades. It feels pretty solid, so I don't know that this is going to come in a bunch of pieces, but the wheels I'll probably reuse. So um, the scale on this guy, though, is just totally off for what I'm trying to do. I, I do like this window here, like just do a painted up like a tinted window all the way out the top. Super cool. Maybe mount a couple guns at the front. That's kind of neat. Again, just another kind of a general car here. Oh, cool. What's this? It's kind of a bus. It's not quite as like a school bus style bus though. It's more of like a shuttle bus. This is neat though. I do like this. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger. 
you know, taller, longer. Yeah, interesting piece. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Coming down the home stretch here. Just a general car. Yep, not bad. Oh, awesome. Yeah, this guy's cool. So we have kind of open cab Jeep here. Interesting. It's got the uh, it's got the steering wheel on the right. It's kind of a European style. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I think this one has some cool conversion opportunities potentially. And that was the last one. So, of the forty that I got, I have only seven or eight in the meh pile, which means I think this was a worthwhile buy. Um, definitely got these a lot cheaper than I was going to get them um, if I purchased these uh, brand new at the store. Uh, some of these are actually kind of shockingly expensive at the store. Only got really... Ooh. Okay. So I wonder if I want to use that. That's kind of funny. I can actually have a working vehicle. Just press down on it. Yeah. Okay. I do want to glue the wheels in place, so I'm not sure if that I'm going to lose that function. But that's interesting. So uh, this guy, let's see, I'll, I'll pull my favorites here. Uh, this truck is just amazing. I, I love it. I'm definitely going to do something with that. This van is top on my uh, conversion list, I think. The motorcycles are all interesting. I need to find a driver. Models for drivers here. Let's see, what else? What else really stood out? Going to be using these for some conversions. You're going to probably see those in an upcoming video for sure. The couple like this. The cars that had the details like this, I just really, really liked. Definitely didn't have those kinds before the purchase. Yeah, I think those are the big winners. I do like the police car. I think the game kind of thematically just an old junkard recycled police car in this post apocalyptic, like kind of gladiatorial racing deathmatch um, is, is super cool. Just you know, converting a cop car for that. So I think these are my kind of MVP pulls here. Uh, this guy too. Similar, similar style to this guy. But just awesome. And I do like the motorcycles a lot. I kind of wish they were just a little bit smaller in comparison to some of the vehicles. This one maybe is not bad. I don't know. It seems like motorcycles are generally... I don't, I don't drive a motorcycle. I actually don't see motorcycles that often, but I, I want to say that they're only like six or seven feet long, um, whereas I think a car is probably closer to 12 feet. Um, so I think the scale might be a little off on these, but I think I can get by on them. Yeah, so I do like the motorcycles. And oh, the, the killer slug bug is kind of funny. I might see if I can get some ideas for that. All right, so if you know, you're interested in these upcoming conversions, uh, definitely uh, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to sharing the progress for these conversions and getting these guys on the table. All right, bye for now.